Wolf and Whisker Co. is the official partner for this episode of Sleep and Relax ASMR. Wolf and Whisker Co. is an online boutique store that specializes in the sale of unique and novel cat and dog themed products. They offer products for cats and dogs, including toys, grooming tools, etc., as well as cat themed and dog themed items such as apparel, artistically created mugs, pillowcases, watches, hoodies with dog faces printed throughout, just, just a bunch of cool stuff. Think of them as that crazy cat lady or dog dude that always wants to talk about cats and dogs and has something to show you. Well, that's Wolf and Whisker Co., except they aren't crazy. They just love cats and dogs, and they love fun and interesting and unique cat-themed and dog-themed uh, items. And you should definitely check them out, especially because they have a great offer exclusively for the listeners of Sleep and Relax ASMR. Visit WolfandWhiskerCo.com. That's W O O F and w-h-i-s-k-e-r-c-o dot com and use promo code ASMR checkout for 15% off your order. It's a pretty good deal. It's 15% off your order for a lot of cool stuff they have on there. It's alright if you're a little confused about the spelling. There's a direct link in the show notes. And once again, that's woofandwhiskerco.com. Use promo code ASMR checkout to get that special offer exclusive to listeners of this podcast. And in case you were wondering, I did place an order using that promo code. Um, it's a product that I'm really excited to receive. It's a cat-themed wristwatch that reads meow, and it has this cute little cat wearing glasses on it. And I'm going to be giving it uh, to my uh, younger cousin as a gift uh, who loves cats. She loves cats, and she loves cutesy cat-related products. So it's unique, it's affordable, and I know she'll love it. And um, and I know you'll find something that you love, too. So wolfandwhiskerco.com. Thanks for being uh, the sponsor for this episode of Sleep and Relax ASMR. Hello everyone. Welcome to episode 146 of Sleep and Relax ASMR. This episode I'll be reading some amateur haikus that I found online. Um, Almost all of them come from a website called fictionpress.com, but um, I'll probably include the uh, link or any links in the uh, show notes. Typically I do bedtime poems, um, but I just wanted to mix it up a little bit, you know, uh, just to sort of, uh, whatever it may be, add a little bit of diversity, add a little bit of... Um, I'll just mix it up a little bit, you know, I, I think this would have been bedtime poems number four, number five, or number six, which is not that many in the grand scheme of the, uh, the show's history, but anyway, I thought you guys would like some haikus. The first haiku comes from a writer that goes by the name Linus, and it goes like this. Sleepy in jammies, strangely, I sleep naked. Though, sing me to sleep, please. Dreams are sweet like jam, but dreams aren't as sticky, unless you're lucky. Fuzzy blankets fall, kicking in my sleep. Too hot, spring has come at last. My pillow is soft, I like my warm, comfy bed. It rocks me to sleep. Bedtime is nearing, can't keep my eyelids open, drifting far away. I hear whispers speak, telling me to go to sleep, need to take more meds. Lost in fluffy clouds, clouds, that's the dream fog spreading. I don't know what's real. The next are a series of haikus. Um, the author is Phyllis, Phyllis Love. That's what he or she goes by. Um, and he, he or she describes them as a series of warped fairy tales. Really, they're just kind of twists um, on on some classic fairy tales, or or they're haikus that sort of uh, summarize or capture major morbid themes from these fairy tales. They're a little bit morbid, but um, I thought they'd be nice to include because you know there, there was definitely some effort put into all of them. The title of chapter one is "Broken Glass Slippers." Casanova prints, fairy consumes booze and drugs, broken glass slippers. 
Chapter 2 Snow White Story Ashy Gray Features Seven Dwarves of Deadly Sins Tomb of Lego Bricks Chapter 3 Rapunzel, Rapunzel, Wash Your Hair Laziness prevailed, thus lack of frequent hair care. Lice put Suter off. Chapter 4 Hap P Ending Vertigo attack, bruised till deathbeds they became speedy royal death. I'll jump to chapter 6. Chapter 5, it's a little too morbid for my taste. Chapter 6, The Accursed or the Accused Siblings, Parts 1, 2, and 3. Part 1. No feeding the birds. Alas, while poor Gretel waits, Hansel pays in jail. Chapter 2, Deathly Sweet Tooth. Causes of their deaths, Avaris and Tooth Decay. Deadly Candy House. Chapter 3, Parting in Such Sweet Sorrow. See deadly kisses, like candles' poisonous touch, eternal sweet dreams. Chapter 7, Ginger, the Kingdom's Top Model. Gingerbread Catwalk, Delicious Hispanic Curves, Mrs. Fields' Model. Those are, uh, I think there were a few more chapters in there, but I didn't include them. Again, some of those haikus in that series are a bit morbid, but that's art, right? It doesn't always have to be super straightforward or simple concepts to digest or always super PG. And, um, you know, obviously, again, the author put in time to, to making that series, so I wanted to read most of them. Next haiku comes from... Um, an author that goes by the name Polar65. It's called Bedtime Haiku. Mind is drifting off. Let me dream to another land. One sheep, two sheep. Next haiku is written by Olo78 and it's titled Haikus of Sleep. My mind is empty. I'm too exhausted to think. I want to go to sleep. I can't stop yawning. I'll probably fall asleep before I get home. Now I'm daydreaming about sleeping in my bed away from the world. Let's see what else I have on here. The next few haikus I found... Um, they're from um, from an author, uh, Jenna Schumer. I don't see any titles for any of the haikus, and she has quite a few on here. I think I wrote down um, eight or nine, maybe ten. So I'll just title them, uh, or I'll just call them haiku number one, number two, so on and so forth. Haiku number one. Banished my phone from my room read a book, and woke up hopeful. Haiku number two. Woke, my heart pounding, had a strange dream, not quite a nightmare, but so close. Haiku number three. TV flickering in that window cross, a kindred spirit there, insomnia, Devil that blends day into night and leaves us exhausted. Number four. Rub my eyes, they're full of sleep, a condition best cured by strong coffee. So true. I usually record these episodes first thing in the morning and uh, I always need to have a coffee before I start recording. Haiku number five. Can't remember the nightmare, but hours later can still feel the panic. Haiku number six. Fell asleep at five. Four hours later, I woke. Couldn't sleep again. 
Haiku number seven. Do you ever feel like you're afraid of sleep and stay awake for hours? Number eight. Woke up to the third snooze alarm. Can't remember hitting other two. Well, that's me every day, by the way. I mean, almost every day I'll, I'll, I'll hit maybe the first or the second snooze button, and then uh, I won't remember the other one. You know, so if I hit the first one, it'll, the third one, the third alarm will wake me up, and I won't remember the second one. Haiku number nine. Did I sleep or did I not sleep? That's the question. A toss and turn night. Number ten. Sleep is all screwy again. I stay up for no reason. Frustrating. Haiku number eleven. In thirty minutes or so, the ambient will do its job. Night all. Number twelve. Fan blows air across my feet while I lie in bed. A cool breeze feels good. Haiku number 13. Up for hours, but I'm still a drop sleepy. Wake up, eyeballs, wake up. Haiku number 14. Chasing sleep doesn't work. 4 a.m. and writing haikus, not dreaming. pick those haikus in particular because most of her haikus um, were sleep related uh, the following haikus come from Rachel Dickinson um, once again they don't seem to have titles so I'm just going to call them haiku number one, number two so on and so forth um, I'm pretty sure these are all from fictionpress.com like I mentioned earlier and um I just checked out their, their writer's profile and uh, grab some of their haikus. So, again, Rachel Dickinson, the author. Haiku number one. Steam bath of a day has me yearning for a beer, an ice-cold dark one. Haiku number two. Saying it's not the heat, it's the humidity. So true this June day. Haiku number three. Village dogs bark at each other throughout the day. Local barkogram. Haiku number four. Dog sleeps on doormat, dreaming of butterflies and an extra dinner. Number five. Puppy leaps, lurches with mouth open like a shark with long furry legs. Number six. Mercury plummets, Freeville locked in the arms of frigid atmosphere. Haiku number seven. The first day of spring, took a walk and tried not to fall on the sidewalk. Number eight, dull, dirty whiteness. Today's color scheme, sky, snow, field in the backyard. Haiku number nine. Day of spitting snow, a nap of disturbing dreams filled my afternoon. Number ten, delicate curtain of icicles hang outside. Oh, but where below? The next series of poems come from michaelpoetry.com. Um, the next haikus are from Chenu Liu. Ch Chenu Liu. I'm definitely not saying that correctly, but uh, michaelpoetry.com is the uh, website. And again, the author, I think, is you pronounce it Chenu Liu. First haiku is called Starry Night. Starry Night in 10,000 Pixels. Her sparkling eyes. 
the next, um, I think it's maybe six, seven, eight that I have here from the same author, by the way. But they all do have titles. So the first one was Starry Night. The second one is titled Shadows. Rhythm of the Saints, Dancing Naked with Shadows in My Attic. A haiku about dark thoughts. Dark thoughts clawing at my mind. New Year's snow. Sudden stab. Winter drizzle. A sudden stab of homesickness. Zen. Zazen, I'm blinded by a ray of light. Gambling addict. Holding his baby up to the winter sky. Gambling addict. A haiku about singing. Special ed class. The silent song of their hands. The following are haikus from a writer that goes by the name Chat Chatex, and they're found on fictionpress.com. Night, silent and still. Even the wind does not stir. I too make no sound. Very small am I, gazing up to the heavens. Nearby sits an ant. Beyond the stark night, a world waits to be explored. Here I lay, dreaming. The bright moon ascends. Only crickets sing her praise. The tired witch sleeps. Let me see. I should have a few more on here. Now I think the neighbor's dog is starting to bark. I hope you guys can't hear that. Uh, all right, let's do this one. The next haiku is titled City by Genevieve Ersatz. A city of lights, illumination reaching, unseen Milky Way. Same tired faces, noticing downtrodden grounds, never looking up. Under the moonlight, her tear illuminated a whispering wind. Next haiku is titled Inuyama Tea Garden. By Rona Callen, also from fictionpress.com. The summer golden, springs invoked by one blossom, fall by one branch. By one tree branch. Sorry, I read that wrong. The next, I think I'll close after this series of haikus I have up here. But the next haikus are also written by Rona Callen via fictionpress.com. First one is titled Winter Storm Warning. Winter Storm Warning. Don't snow in our roses. I beg, looming clouds. Quiet day in May. Quiet day in May. Redland of long ago. Summer vacations. Chime. A sound like a chime from those bare gray branches, the first robin of spring. Murky delight. Excuse me, murky daylight. Through murky daylight, together in November, leaves and snowflakes both. Fallen leaves. 
Leaves crunch under feet like they didn't in past years from my long illness. Glimmer. Did you learn your tricks from the moon on the rice fields? Evening fireflies. Let me check my notes to see if I have any other ones on here. No, it seems like that was it. So those are all the haikus I have for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you'd like me to do more haiku episodes in the future, you can reach out to the show at hello at sleepandrelaxasmr.com. I highly encourage you to check out our newsletter and our Patreon page, um, available through the show notes as well. Because ultimately, newsletter subscribers and Patreon um, backers are given first dibs, let's say, on the episodes I make. Um, likewise, you can just check out our website, sleepandrelaxasmr.com, and that'll have the same information as, as the show notes, really. So, that's it for this episode. Thanks, as always, for listening, and take care. <laughs>